Hey y'all, I'm Rio. Welcome back to another episode of Coloring Passports. I'm super excited about this one. I've been putting it off for as long as I can because I wanted to get all the practice in before I colored these guys. But today we are tackling the orca, the great killer whale, the apex predator, the absolute top apex predator of our oceans. Hands down, just one of the most magnificent creatures on the planet. I'm, I'm a little nervous about how this is gonna go because there's a whole lot of black being used in here. And y'all know, I never pick up the black first, but look at it. Oh, can you see that? Can you see it where it says black? Let me see it right there. Look at that. We're gonna hit it with the black first. All right, so these guys, I imagine this scene in the Pacific Oceans cold water, little bit, little bit darker, you know, a little bit murkier, maybe up near Alaska. So the color palette on this one is completely different than what I'm accustomed to. So that's going to be a challenge. Two, I've drawn their eyes because it's just part of what I do, but I have to color over them because you really don't see their eyes. Three, I think that I will use the colored pencils lightly first, build up the layers, and then come in and um, adjust accordingly. Four, I'm not sure that I've done a great job of drawing these, but you know, it's all practice. So let's get started. Um, first thing I want to do is use the edge of this black and just start building up the layers here. And I've drawn, this was one of the first pages that I illustrated in the book. And so I feel like my lines might be a little too dark and that might hinder the whole process, but we're just going to work through it and see where we get to. Um, again, who cares if you color outside the lines, we're going to come back in on the, uh, with the background and correct any of that anyway. So it's not that big of a deal, really. Okay, so there's always a white patch behind their eye. Got the pectoral fin here on this side. And you know, I don't really know why I drew this, this illustration this way. I drew him off the page. Uh, again, it was the first, well, that's awful. <laughs> it was the first illustration of the, of the entire book. And um, you know, I've learned a lot since then. I am not a line drawing artist. It's very difficult for me to, to not speak to you in color. When I start a painting, I draw very, very little on that, that canvas because um, I use the color to talk to you. I literally use the color to talk to you. And I just manipulate the color to get the shapes that I want and to get it to look the way that I feel like it should. So. These line drawings have been quite a learning curve for me. Now, typically, see, I feel like, see that? I feel like that could have been a little bit wider there. So we're just gonna add that there. And I, I might be off a little bit with that, but I just felt like that should have been a little bit more. This guy's super close to the surface, so um, there's gonna be some definite highlights, shadows, you know, the things on there. So, um, okay. 
Okay, and then this one in the background here. I don't know why I was such an overachiever and drew three of these on here, because this is going to be nearly impossible to keep the... I have to think about how I'm going to keep the distance relevant, because there is atmosphere between this orca and... this one and this one and this one so you have to decide which one is closest to you So then all of these rocks sort of lend themselves to feeling like they are feeling some sort of a way about all this here. We're going to come over that with some other colors. And I know that I never do this. You never see me coloring with the black. I'm going to come over this with some navy. And just see where it goes. I mean, I just... Huh. and just paint this black and then come up, up over it with everything that I can. I feel like this is going to be great practice for the shark book too. I'm 
I'm eventually gonna have to get some other color on this though because it's just gonna be one note if I don't. So while this is all fun and games here and just exciting to not have to, you know, to be able to block it in monochromatically, we gotta add some more color to this baby because he just, he deserves to sing like the rest of them. I don't even know what that means. Still using the exact same colored pencil. Haven't switched yet at all. Oh, look, he's starting to come to life. See, he already, just based on the direction that I actually colored, he already is looking like a real orca coming into the scene. Now, typically, like I said, I don't paint them like this. I don't typically bring in something from off the page. This is a brand new experiment for me. So I wanna put some reef back here, or you know, the illusion of some reef here. Um, I don't even know if that's a good idea or not, but I'm feeling like they're gonna be in some, you know, marshier, not really marshy, just some cold water reefy areas. That's what I that's what I feel like when I think about these guys. And I'm gonna color right over everything with other colors. So Including their backs. I'm gonna come up here and kind of that I that black I'm using is an ivory black. So when you come over that with this um, beige, you get kind of this greeny glazy color. I like it. It looks really good. It's good. It would be really easy to get carried away with all of the fun stuff that, that, that those rocks could produce visually to look at. So I gotta caution myself against doing that. I'm gonna come over here and grab some of my greens and some of my browns. Uh, sandbar brown. Here we go. Ooh, yep, that's it. of this with the sandbar brown so you've got that dark color there and then you've got this sandbar brown on top of these rocks and then I'm going to come back in with some blue on top of those rocks
See, those rocks are starting to come to life. Okay. This part is fun. Maybe there's just, you know, some like, there's weedy things in here. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just trying to green ochre. Trying to fumble my way through this. This is peacock blue. I'm coming in and just coloring over the top of these guys. And I'm gonna go back over it with the black again. There we go. That works. Okay, so then give me a, a lighter blue here. Come over the top of this with. That's pretty fabulous. Look at that. I like it. Uh-huh. 
yep, this is gonna work. So I'm taking that cloud blue and I'm squishing it right into the top of where all that black is. Letting some of that blue shine through. I'm gonna go back in and I will add some yellow to those top bits. really color hard here. Hmm. Ooh. So it's still dis disjointed. It's still not feeling like it's together. And that's okay. I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna color super, super dark. And we're not gonna worry about the white being a hot mess right now because we're gonna use that to our advantage. Let some of that color just smear right up into that white. It's okay. I'm pushing as hard as I can with this black. I'm not going to color everything solid black, just some of it. I'm 
up here where it connects. You want to make sure that it's, you don't, you're not seeing that. You make sure that you're. laying down enough shadow to cover up where it connects. My iPad did an update. All of a sudden, it's sending me these little notifications that I've never had before and a bell that goes along with it and I don't know how to turn it off and I keep forgetting to turn it off. I'm gonna have to figure that out. taking this C shape just all around the nose. And as I'm doing this, I'm seeing how I would paint a shark. And I'm actually thinking about painting a shark. Um, a couple days ago, I became a great aunt for the first time. My, one of my brother's daughters had a baby and I feel like I want to send him a shark painting. Sweet baby Milo. He's the cutest little bug. He's a teeny tiny little thing. Didn't even weigh seven pounds when he was born. Hmm. Okay. So. I'm going to grab some of the blues. So I've got blues here and I've got kind of aqua-y aqua blues here. I'm going to grab Periwinkle. Sometimes it's odd to me that I just grab the color that works without even really thinking about it. I think that's the training that I've had. right over this dark area here. 
with this blue and really just get into those crevices. I don't want to see any of that white showing through on this. I'm going to come in like this. We've got sun streakies. This is going to be really something here. I'm going to go over the top of this with this blue. This is awesome. <laughs> Yo, this is a color palette I would never, I would never do this. Another reason why I love these pages so much. I want that to be brighter. because you simply get to play in the color and just experiment without it being a big deal. I want all of this here. See, that should be a shadow. There should be a shadow right across that. I'm gonna come in here and push really super hard with this periwinkle and get this black blended in there as deep as I can get it I'm getting his pectoral fin all blended down I'm really pushing hard we'll come in with some gouache over the top of this black maybe getting excited <laughs> okay this is the uh, slate gray I'm feeling the slate gray here. Feeling the slate gray. And I'm feeling like I'm gonna have so maybe I've got all these colors here and then you know maybe I've got some of this here and maybe I've got some of it here and some of it here and this is seriously hurting my hand but I'm having to push really, really hard to get these things to develop here. It's gonna be so nice. <laughs> I'm actually quite excited now. <laughs> I wasn't before. I was just like, mm, I don't know if I'm gonna pull this off. Thank you. 
so well, I know that he's gonna have some color underneath here might as well just be okay with that I'm gonna take that slate gray right over all of this color this one we're not gonna put a whole lot of detail into I mean I, I I need him to not be on the same plane as these guys. He needs to be back further, more atmosphere behind, and you know, covering him up. So, he's gonna have a slightly more blue tint to him in some areas than the other ones. But I also wanna make sure that it's so weird to draw them without eyes, but you really cannot see their eyes. Especially this far away, you would definitely not be able to see his eyes. You just wouldn't. Okay, back to the black. I mean, I'm really laying this down here. And really, it's in this area here. This is killing my hand. Hang in there, don't give up. I'm right there with you. It's coming together. It's coming together. Okay, now I'm grabbing the 70% cool gray. And I'm coming in right along this ridge here. And I'm 
just blend in all of this together. My hands hurt. I know this one looks terrible, <laughs> to say the least. It ain't good. Ah, it's okay. We're gonna fix it. Don't panic. Just don't panic yet. Look at that. I'm just gonna color right over him, just like ugh, whatever. Whatever. He doesn't matter. He just isn't even in the picture. bring in some green here. Mm. Uh, jade green? Celadon green? Oh yeah, maybe that's the color. I don't know that 
that's the color. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if that's the color. It's looking pretty good though. So, you know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep going. See what happens here. Come in, kind of color over all of this stuff with the green. Just kind of get it all worked in there. That looks so much better. Oh wow, that's good. Yeah, I like that. Being colored right over the top of this with the green. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, that's the Celadon green, just going right over everything. That works. Oh, look at, ooh, girl, look at that. Look what you did. Look what you did. Look what you did. Awesome. What the hey? Look at that. Huh. I'm gonna give it a little bit of celadon here in the what? And this celadon green has is a gray. It definitely has a gray tinty to it. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like it's you know some crazy color, it's just different. Okay, so, hmm. Definitely wanna keep that out. What is this one? This is Jade Green. Ooh, what happens if I use this color on that? This is Pale Sage. Oh. Hello. Okay, I'm not saying that that's a great color, but what? Look at that. Oh, now, look what you've done. Oh, my goodness. Y'all have got to get these colored pencils. Oh, my Lord. This is, this is. This is so good. This is so good. This is just so good. And all of that just mixing together from the colors that were down first. And I'm not even 100% sure I remember what colors I put down there. I just did. I just did. That's awesome. Hmm.
Mm. Okay, so maybe the one in the back needs some help. I can see that. I can see how that would be a thing. I'm gonna take this 10% uh, cool gray. Take that same gray. I know it looks hideous. Just, just keep hang in there with me. Just hang in there with me. I'm gonna, pull, I'm gonna pull all of this together here in just a minute, and it's gonna look great. What? <laughs> this is getting fun. Look at the color in the background, though. It looks like water. Mm. Okay. So didn't we come in here and we did a little of this, a little of that. Said that this was I don't know if I can save the second one or not. We're gonna see, because it's a hot mess right now. And I have just gone over all of this here with whatever I could find. I'm gonna make him darker. But he's got to have all that teal over him, too. I mean, that's just part of it. See how messy this is? I think it's going to be okay, though. Not 100% sure, but I think it's going to be okay. So then, I want to come in here with, like, some super dark brown up in here. Ooh, that ain't the right brown. That is super smooth, though. This one has not been used. I have managed to almost break out every single solitary color in my arsenal here. Mmm, mm, that is creamy deliciousness there. Right over the top of this with this peacock green.
that's not looking great right there but it does look like it's underneath the orca so I'm pretty happy about that oh, this is so good it's always unbelievable to me what happens when it actually works out I'm gonna come across this pectoral fin with this peacock blue. I'm sorry y'all if I'm not talking enough. I'm in deep concentration mode here with this one. I mean deep concentration mode. We're just gonna smudge some of that green right into the, look at that, perfection. That's, that's good, that's really good. That's really, this, this area right here, not so great, like, but uh, this and this looking spectacular. I need to darken all of this area here with a super dark gray. I'm thinking 90 warm gray. I just want that to be dark in there. I'm gonna come in, ooh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come in with some of these. Uh, gonna come in with this burnt ochre. And I'm just gonna make some shapes that are just kind of leaning over. Burnt sienna. They call it burnt ochre. I think it's burnt sienna. Gonna just go over all of this. You don't have to have definite shapes in this area. We just need it to be. And then what if I grab one of these oranges if it's a little higher value orange and I come in and I'm like hey what if there's some what if there's some really cool stuff right here that's like catching some light hmm. okay that's working so maybe I'll grab a yellow hey what if there's some really cool stuff right here that's like catching some light
Would you look at that? Would you look at that? <sighs> wow, that's cool. That's so much fun. Okay, let's grab another yellow. Like a, what this ochre color? Looking. Oh, what? Okay, so this is um, mineral orange, and it's broken. But I'm just gonna color with it anyway. Just gonna color with it just like this. Who knew? fun this is. Look, I just shape-shifted that rock. Ah! What if I want some more orange over here? I'm loving all of this. What's happening to me? I don't, I don't typically color with these colors. Oh, this is so much fun. Okay, I'm gonna have to sharpen that one if I'm gonna keep using it because it's just not quite working out for me. Okay, back to the lemon yellow. Okay, now I'm back to the burnt ochre, which is really burnt sienna. And then what we're gonna do is put some blue over this so that it kind of melds into the landscape a little bit better. We're also gonna add some of this uh, jade green. Oh yeah, look at that. Indeed, here we are. <laughs> Y'all, I know that there's lots of work to be done to this. However, this is so much fun. I love that you can just 
draw right over everything you've already put down. Wow. So amazing to me. Okay, so I'm feeling like I need to color in the water a little bit more and then go right over it with that with this color which one is this pale sage Okay. Going right back in with the black. I'm sorry, y'all. On these that are so intense, I get lost in the process of the creation part and uh, forget that I'm even with you. I'm so sorry go over this with a blending stump and that's going to be I'll blend this right in Let's get in here and color that water and see where we are. feel like that's kind of cool. Okay, I want to sharpen the white. I'm going to come right in here and really dig in with that white. Just a, a little bit. I'm 
blend this out here. So that's all creamy smooth. That's all creamy smooth. That's definitely all creamy smooth. Wow. We can get into this here. Look at that. Okay, so the little guy in the back here, we still have some issues with him. Definitely looking better though. in here with some of this white see if that helps a little bit I need some color up in there look how good that looks more green in it. Come on now. You know I'm right. I'm gonna like fan that out into white I think. color of yellow. <laughs> not even kind of. Eh, that might not be too bad right there. That's not it. That ain't the right color. That ain't the right color. No. Let's get to darkening some of this up here as best as we can.
Okay. Let's let's add some. Uh, let's let's see if we can get that pinned right. It just never really wants to work. These Uniball. This Uniball is supposed to be a great, you know, pen. I just don't think that it is. It doesn't write for crap. Okay. So I'm going to use this uh, Beltolo. Super hard to get these this paint pen because the I, I think it's because the colored pencils are so waxy. I just want to make some scratches on him. Just want to make some scratches. What do y'all think? Uh, I think the Orca page is done. Could, could it be better? I don't even know. I don't even know. I just like it. I just feel like I like it. So I could develop this whole area right here a little bit more, but I don't want to. I just want to leave it like this. I'm going to sign it. signature this go around but there you have it I mean I had to work this page I'm telling you I had to work hard on this page different completely different color palette than what I normally do I might come back in a little later with some gouache I don't know but I think right now I'm done so that's it for this episode of coloring passports thanks for joining me in the studio I'm Rio and I'll catch you on the next page